for cheap games and even GTA Shark cards, check out the link in the description. Use code SAINTS for a 3% discount as well. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Saints Fan, and welcome back to another Top 5 video. I haven't done one of these in a while, apart from my Top 5 Kills and Death series, and I figured it'd be pretty fun to do one again. Now, in this one, we're going to be talking about the Top 5 sort of classic cars from previous GTA titles that I would like to see return in GTA 5 through maybe a DLC. And like always with these top fives, this is my opinion. So if you have your own thoughts and your own cars that you want to see, let me know in the comment section. But starting off at number five, this car that I would like to see return would be a great addition if Rockstar were to ever open up the arena for a demolition derby. And that is the Blood Ring Banger. Now, I'll go ahead and put a couple pictures on the screen. There are a few different variants of this. The pictures on the screen, these are from Vice City. I think they were in San Andreas as well. Um, I could be mistaken. I didn't really play much of San Andreas, so forgive me on that. But but the reason this comes in at number five is because I don't know if Rockstar's ever going to open up that arena as cool as it would be. And I mean, I know there's like missions and jobs that people create that sort of have a demolition derby feel to it, but there's just nothing like, you know, playing the demolition derby in the actual arena like we did back in the day in Vice City. So that's kind of why this is down on my list, but I think it'd be really cool. I mean, obviously we've seen with the next gen, they had a couple of the cars with the different vinyls, so they could easily do that on these as well and make some really cool designs, but that's why it's at number five. Now moving into number four, we have the Broadway. And the reason I put this at number four is because I think it would easily implement if they were ever to do some sort of movie themed DLC, because obviously the name itself, you know, kind of ties to that. And it just looks cool and you can see the pictures on the screen they have some really cool paint jobs that they had in san andreas on this car and i think they could easily do stuff like that again in gta 5 but this is a lowrider car and i don't think we've actually got a dlc lowrider car yet so this would be the first one if that's the case and i think it would be a warm welcome even though you know a lot of people probably wouldn't use it to race but i think it would still be a cool collector car to have so that's why it came in at number four now moving into number three, I have the Tampa, and the Tampa is a two-door muscle car, which I think was in San Andreas, as well as the Ballad of Gay Tony, the DLC for GTA 4. And with Rockstar coming out with the Dukes and the Stallion for GTA 5, I definitely think this is one of the cars that they're eventually going to come out with, because it seems like it's one of the only muscle cars remaining that's not in the game. And it, I think it looked pretty cool in GTA 4, and I think it'd be another car that wouldn't be necessarily that popular, but a lot of people would buy it and have it just for that nostalgia factor. Now moving into number two, I have the Hermes. And the reason I have this at number two is because I just, I love this car so much in Vice City, especially the Cuban Hermes. Like that was one of my favorite cars to drive around just because at the time it looked so cool, like with the flames and everything. And they could easily add that to GTA, like the flames and, and different sort of vinyls and, and paint jobs for this car. But I think it'd be another good addition to the sports classic category because right now there isn't much in that category that's worth racing in. I think the Z-Type and then maybe the Kakak Classic, those are some of the better ones. And the reason a lot of people race in sports and supercars is because there's a lot of variation in the cars you can use and you can you know still have a shot at winning where the sports classics it's a little lacking so they could easily add this into that category and have it up there with the z-type and the coquette classic but i think the nostalgia factor is just really high with this car i know i would buy it just to have it like in my garage especially if they were to do the cuban hermes again and i know that kind of wouldn't make sense because obviously that was in vice city which made sense at the time because miami there was a lot of you know cubans there but san andreas not so much but you know either way man as a nice like retro dlc i think it would fit with that as well but yeah I, I would like to see this car come back in the future and then coming at number one we have the deluxo the deluxo from vice city is probably one of my favorite cars from that game it's an 80s like sports car and the reason i have this at my number one slot is because we haven't had a super or a sports car in the game through dlc since i think the high life update and I definitely think another super or sports car is needed into the game just because we've been having the Zentorno and the Masacro for almost a year now. And I definitely think this car would spice that up as goofy as it might look, you know, it being an 80s like car in, you know, the game right now. 
I definitely think it would fit like a retro DLC if they would ever do that. And similar to the Tampa, this is one of the only super or sports cars that were in previous games that aren't in GTA now, like GTA 5 right now. And I think it would be a welcomed addition. So that's my top five list. Let me know yours in the comment section. I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. And who knows, maybe Rockstar might see this video and you know get some ideas for cars in the future but yeah hope you guys enjoyed drop a like on this video if you did subscribe for more awesome gta content and as always it's your boy saints fan i'm out peace